Hello everyone and welcome back to Bricks and Dragons. Um, so today I came back, from, <laughs> I went to Walmart after after church this morning and uh, lo and behold, uh, we have the next series, we actually have a space series for the Lego minifigures. Um, so this is the first four I've gotten. So we'll take a look. Um, it would be uh, series 26 here. So let's go take a look and see what we got. Um, from the looks of it, looks like we have some fairly interesting uh, figures here. Um, looks like there is a micro figure in here, as well as possibly a mechanical penguin, or maybe a space penguin. I don't know. We'll figure that one out when we open this up and get to see. Okay. Uh, so this is one set I was kind of hoping, because it looks like it's got a little baby in there. Um... Anytime you get extra little figures or whatever, some silly things or whatever, which is always wonderful for me. Okay, so trying to do this so you can see this good. Um, and I know I'm having more and more issues with my camera, so I really do apologize. I def desperately need to get a different camera, so um, I might have to switch over to my phone for doing this for a little bit. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see how things work out. Okay. So, uh, looks like we do have a astronaut figure. Uh, we have some sort of robot, um, like an Android figure or something, and it has two micro figures. Uh, looks like some sort of Android or alien. Oh, actually, it looks like a, a gray alien sleuth, uh, like a tourist or something. Uh, we have a young lady with her dog, um, obviously in a space theme. We have an old Mtron uh retro figure we have a nanny droid with a little baby which is what it looks like we have here we have some sort of um, green alien so I don't know if you want to call them a Martian or whatever um, then we have a uh, almost like a lady knight with a like I said some sort of uh, mechanical penguin here uh, we have some sort of brainiac this almost looks like a phaser. Oh, that'd be interesting to look and just see. But it looks like he's a chef of some sort. And, of course, then we have a very alienish looking head on there uh, with some sort of berries or ice cream or something. Um, some sort of, uh, I don't know, kind of like an alien tribesman or something with a club. And then we have, oh, shoot, I can't can't remember what the B was. Um but he's kind of mutated because he's got like a a different foot there, almost like a um, reptilian of some sort. So, all right. So, uh, let's get the figure together and let's take a look and see what we've got. So, like I said, this is like a made robot. So I may have to go and get some more tomorrow. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the so the base plate is done a little differently. It's got kind of a starry look to it. So we have the made robot here. And it has like a plug-in function on the back. And it has the face on the front. So this is wonderful, especially seeing that we're, we're doing more of uh, like a Star Trek-ish kind of system. And we have a little baby figure here the head's in there the head stays in there uh it's got a little backpack on there for oxygen so um that looks pretty cool to me we do have the hair and of course we have a baby bottle actually i don't remember having a baby bottle like this on any of the other figures um i thought maybe we would have to put the hand underneath here but they do have a little handhold, so that works out even better. So I think that's a new design. And then we're going to go over, ah, if I can get this in here. It's the problem with having fat fingers. I just have a hard time trying to get my fingers in there sometimes. Okay. So looking around, we do have some symbols, like a little uh, a scanner unit or something, probably for the baby, so we could make sure the baby's doing healthy here. <clears throat> has like a, a charge function on the back and of course on the back of the head that's where you would plug the, the Android in and maybe like a little maintenance uh, bay here for the for the droid looks like some uh, <clears throat> ventilation here and of course then we have on this side <clears throat> 
excuse me, like a temperature reading. So I'm thinking 37 degrees Celsius and another symbol on there. So um, the nice thing is, is now we can do this a little bit more. We can have the baby drinking. All right, and that works pretty good. Um, all in all, I think it's an interesting set. I, I like it. It adds more depth, especially for, you know, the, the time frame that we're doing a little bit other things here. I will definitely be picking up more of these, but uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, let's see what we got for our next one here. <clears throat> and, of course, we'll see if we get any repeats. That's always the funny thing. You get four of these, and all of a sudden you have a repeat. Okay. So this is our, our, I don't know if you want to call him our Martian. So we get his legs. Um, he's got like a starry pattern on his legs on the front and on the top as well. So it's like he's blending in. So it's almost like he's just the head. Like he's wearing a, uh, yeah, it's like a little earth on the back. Like he's just trying to, to blend in. And we have that on top. So it looks, looks more like a saucer. So I don't know if you want to call it a guy in a costume. Uh, kind of cosplaying for like going to a convention or something. Or, or what you want to say there. But that is kind of interesting. Okay, and then let's get the next one. <clears throat> This is really interesting because we're running running right into May. All right, so here we are. We have another duplicate. So, um, which happens? Uh, unfortunately, when you're you're getting them and you're you're hoping to get four different ones just to see, but you you get duplicates and it happens. So we do have a duplicate here. Actually, a head needs to go down a little bit more. There we go. There's that, and then I knock him off of the stand. All right, and last but not least, we'll see what we got. And this is my my way of what I consider gambling, because you never know what you're getting here. All right, so we have our Martian. Looks like he's on vacation. So he's got the shorter legs. So this is the short legs. These are the non-movable short legs. So this would be child legs. And then he's got a kind of a Hawaiian shirt with an undershirt with which says, is showing I love Earth. He's got a backpack here. So obviously he's backpacking onto Earth, trying to make sure he's got all the fun stuff he needs. He's got the nice big gray eyes there. That's all we have. And then we have his Fendora, or whatever. Looks like a Fendora to me, but I mean, whatever. Okay, now we got to put his camera together. So oh, we got his lens on his camera, and we got one extra lens there. And we have him taking pictures. So perhaps he's down to Florida, going to Space Mountain, or checking out Disney. Uh, or maybe he's in a neighborhood near you. But that's the four we got. Um, <clears throat> so like I said. Uh, so we got these two and that one. Uh, I'm really kind of hoping to get some of these other ones. Uh, really. Um, the Mtron. Uh, shoot. And I can't. Like I said. I can't remember what the B was. But I'm kind of hoping to get that. I'd love to get this to see what this looks like. It looks kind of like a phaser to me. But it looks like he's cooking. Oh, and he's a robot, too. He's got robot legs, so I'd definitely like to get one of him to get the robot legs. So uh, we'll have to see how that works out. All right. Well, here we are. Uh, series 26. There's the 12 figures, but I've only got four. I, I bought four. We got one duplicate already, but we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting thing. But uh, here we are. All right, well, thank you for visiting. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.